Sharon. He was actually walking. Oh. He really was. I couldn't believe it. Oh, that's wonderful, Linda. I'm so pleased for you. Oh, it's going to be the best Christmas ever. <laughs> oh, Sharon, I'm sorry. It was a stupid thing to say to you. Oh, don't be daft. It is going to be the best Christmas ever. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> so, you all going to witness and lose, are you? Well, that's the theory. Although, how they're going to do a turkey dinner in a kitchen that size, I don't know. <laughs> that's true. No, I'm not going to be the big help, but, uh, I think these strands are a little bit tight. And, you know... Sharon? Yeah? So, the rumours are true, <laughs> then. <laughs> Sharon, stop it. I phone... <laughs> so, 9th of Jan. We get the keys. On here we come. Your state agent's lively. We'll miss you. The little ends. No, no, come on. We'll be back all the time. We're going to see Roxy. Well, assuming she stays. All right, come on, Lawrence Olivier. Johnny will kill you if you're late. Good. <laughs> do me a favour. Do this. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows what Roxy will do when we move? It's not our decision, right? I just want to make sure she's OK. I know. Cafe. Cafe. Um, you need it out the back. All right. All right. Yeah, uh, she's giving me the body swerve and all. Look, I'm sorry, um, I'm an idiot. Well, it's not just me and Bex you need to apologise to, Martin. Over my dead body. Check you out, Scrooge. Oh, wow! <laughs> I actually feel like the man. I'm here right now. I want to go on stage and the lights go down. If they go down. We're in a bit of a rick with personnel, don't we, Johnny, to be fair? Uh, right, here you go. Try him now. Oh, Mick, I've had two sons and three husbands. I've seen it all before. Oh, thank you. Lovely, lovely. Right. I love this. Yeah, well, just make sure that this doesn't get stuck in the motor. Will you give us a minute, Louise? Yeah, sure. Okay. Bex, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it. Maybe you should give your mum a call. All I want is for everyone to just stop banging on about it. Girls. Girls, check this out. I slipped. Yeah, as if. My crotch. It will be. He was watching us undress. You better be kidding me. Oh, shame on you, Dennis. Oh, leave him. He's a peeping Tom. If you don't sack him, we're walking. Spare me from working with teenage girls. Now, wait just a minute. That's a very nice, Derek. Yeah, ever heard of victim blaming? He's all right, you know. He's just, he's just young, isn't he? You know, it's just natural curiosity, eh? You be saying that if it was your daughter. For goodness sake, would you start in five? Come on, guys, places, please. What, he just gets to go away with it? Please, please, please. Let's not ruin things with a storm in a teacup, no man. I mean, we all work too hard for this. Dennis, your mother will be informed, and I am giving you a formal warning. And you can apologise to the girls. It was an accident. <laughs> I'm sorry, all right? Right. Right. Places, boys and girls. 